Hey y'all do oh shit. <laughs> how y'all doing? This is Bobo, Recovered Alcoholic United. This is my sponsor, my brother, uh Will, Will D. And uh we go way back, man. Way back. We, we've, been, <laughs> we've been through some stuff together. We've been through some stuff apart, and then God done brought us back together. So uh I, I wanted to make a little special edition as far as the discussion, the group discussion go, and just do something just me and him. And I thought probably the best topic for us to bounce around back and forth would probably be step two. Uh, step two lays out and says that we came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to Samuel. And I, I like to say this, and I, I'm pretty sure you would agree, but this is almost an impossible step to take if I have not had an adequate diagnosis of the problem. If, if I don't understand that my body is different than other people, if I don't understand that any of these chemicals that, that possibly offer a euphoria or a high will trigger my allergy and give me the phenomenon of craving that I'll use beyond my mental capacity to control it, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to see also that the, the problem centers in my mind rather than in my body. And once I quit, my problem ain't solved. I hadn't even entered into recovery simply because I stopped. It's just another part of the cycle. Emerge remorse with firm resolution not to do it again. And this is repeated over and over again because now I'm going to be rest and irritable and discontented. Not easy in my skin. And, and you know, when we first heard the message or when I first heard the message, the way it's outlined in the book, they made sure I understood that uh, for reasons yet obscure, on page 24, the alcoholic lost all power choice concerning drink. His so-called willpower becomes practically non-existent. We are unable at certain times to bring into our consciousness sufficient with sufficient force the memory of the suffering and hum humiliation of even a week or a month ago. And so from the time I stop, I'm automatically without what used to solve my ism. I used to get a sense of ease and comfort at once by drinking and using dope. And so now that I've sworn off, I no longer have that sense of ease and comfort. And the only thing offered for an alcoholic or addict of my variety is the psychic change, spiritual awakening, spiritual experience, getting connected to this high power, uh, going through the work with the objective of getting connected to this power. So the doctors, the two doctors, who aren't believers in a higher power, they're believers in science, who have extreme experience with working with alcoholics and addicts, Dr. William Silkworth, uh, Dr. Carl Jung, both of them make statements that's profound in regards to their own profession. They said they found nothing that, it's, that helped people like us except that thing they're not able to administer. Right. Uh, Dr. Silkworth says, uh, the message which can interest and hold these alcoholics must have depth and weight. In nearly all cases, their ideals must be grounded in a power greater than themselves if they are to recreate their lives. Uh, Dr. Carl Young, talking to Roland Hazard III, says, no, no. "Yeah, he <laughs> said, he said, he said. So, are there any ex exceptions? Because." The doctor basically told the man he had to commit himself to a hospital yeah. or a higher body. With no hope. With no hope. He wasn't going to ever be able to do nothing because right. he ain't never seen an alcoholic of his, of, of his variety uh -huh. recover. Mm -hmm. And nothing he's ever been able to do has been able to help an alcoholic of his Except. variety. Except. Except. So when he asked this question, the doctor said, yeah. What is in there, <laughs> you know, through time, it's been documented uh -huh. that, that, that they've had vital spiritual experiences. Right. I ain't seen it myself. Yeah, I, I ain't I, never I, seen I, it. I to can't me, do it. they're phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, you know, I can't do it. Basically, <laughs> say that it's a freak yeah. occurrence. Right, right. Right? right. But, but now, in this day and age, what we have is multitudes of people who have had that very thing happen in their life, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, they took that ass whooping. More times than not, the alcoholic had to be pretty badly mangled before he'll commence his way of life. A lot of us come into this thing, we've been abused by religious people, or it's been stuffed down our throat to such a degree that we're now offended at, at this God concept, high power thing. Uh, every now and then, you'll meet somebody who just didn't have any religious learnings. At all. At all. Uh, but, you know, then you've got the people who 
have had religious learnings and still can't fucking stay sober. Right, right. They they know about God, but they, they don't know God. They don't they don't have any, any spiritual experience. They have experience. They have spiritual knowledge without spiritual experience. Man, it's it's time that we talk about this. I was thinking about this the other day about how the uh, the simple truth is this that. If I have the, the, the physical part of the disease, the, the allergy, once I put it in, and, and the book talks about it, you know, uh, this, this stuff, would, it would be insignificant if a person just did, didn't drink it. If you just stop. So, so okay, I got, I, I got the physical part, which go hand in hand with the mental part. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that stuff. But but then, if I, if, if, if I could just, there's no way to get out of that. The physical would never change, so if the physical never changed, the mental ain't gonna never, you know what I'm saying? The, the mental uh, anguish and stuff that comes with that ain't gonna change. Ain't going away. But when I stop, that spiritual component, if that is dealt with, everything else straight now. Yeah, I said, we straighten out spiritually, we straighten out mentally and, and physically. physically. Right, right. So it's paramount that I understand that if, 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 I, if I have a one and two, the physical and the mental part of it, I've got to recognize the spiritual point because only there can my solution be found. Mm -hmm. For years, I just addressed the mental and somewhat the physical. I didn't even really know about the allergy. I knew that to some extent that uh, if I get any kind of buzz, I'm going to want to smoke no, crack. No, I, I addressed the physical. Right. And I used the same sick mentality to try to strong arm and white knuckle the mental. That and but 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 no, but see, I, 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 mean, I was a punk. The, the, I was a punk on the middle. I'm going to the site and get some meds. Right, right, right. right. The That's another comment. But I'm like, yeah. man, I'm throwed off. I can't, I can't, I can't yeah. sleep. Give me something to help me sleep. Cause Give you me know, something right? to help me stop feeling anxious. All the time. I'm depressed. All the time. And so now, now because the doctor don't understand that I'm a hopeless variety alcoholic. His diagnosis is bipolar, manic depressive, right. schizophrenic, PTSD. And, I, and and the chances is I don't even have that. What I have is untreated alcoholism. Right. I have that mental component still doing its thing to eventually bring me to enough discomfort that the obsession returned and I have to drink again. You know what I got? I got the bedazzlements. Yeah, the bedazzlement. 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 We were having trouble with personal relationships, couldn't control our emotional relations, were a prey to misery and depression. We couldn't make a living. We had a feeling of uselessness, we were full of fear and one unhappy, and couldn't seem to be a real help to other people. That's what I suffer from. I, I suffer from it great you? All my life, dog. Uh, even as, as a youngster, that's why I went when when that when I first I got my first buzz on, on marijuana. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I was firing on all cylinders. When I got that high, that meant the world to me. Because finally the world was understood or I had received some kind of understanding of what peace must feel like. It's like, for me, man, I, it's, I, we, just, it's, we say it all kind of different ways, but for me, it's like I finally sat in my, I finally found my seat. My spot. My yeah. spot, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here now, finally. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm part of now. Because yeah. before I always felt separated. Yeah. Now I feel part. I really I've joined you. Now I'm I'm fitted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I like to take a hold of that. Because the dope itself gives me this sense of fitting. And without the dope, I no longer sense the fitting. And apart from that divine help, I, I still suffer from that sense of not fitting. Right. It, none of it makes sense. No. And as a matter of fact, everything is uncomfortable. Everything is uncomfortable. And yeah, each right. person can only take it so long. Right. So it's a different degree to each person. Right. We have very traits. Yeah. But I, I, I and like... Then, and uh, then uh, uh, just to, to top that off, what happens is when, 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 when the thing that, that gives me ease and confidence helps me fit in, when that stop, stops working, now I'm on my way to really see the spiritual the, the uh, malady. Yeah. That's why we say, uh, 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 I think the book says we got to be pretty badly mangled. All that is the evidence I need for myself. I need that confirmation. That when, when I read this, it, 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 it identifies me. But what about this? What about you've, you, you've gathered your loin, you've manned up to make this decision to stop. Mm -hmm. You're willing to do whatever it takes to stop and stay stopped. Mm -hmm. You you got your meeting tendencies impeccable. 
Right? You even labeled somebody a sponsor. But mm-hmm. coming in, you usually ain't interested in doing no damn work. Not really. Okay. The, uh, uh, the natural things that begin to give me some relief happen. I'm no longer taking the chemical. I'm back eating. I'm back washing my ass. I'm back to work. I'm back paying some bills. I'm back in a relationship. On the exterior, things looking pretty good and I about all right should be grateful. And yet, the unspoken statement is, I'm still not okay. Yeah, because because the, the, the real issue hadn't been addressed. And and you I just thought of one that that, that we missed when you, you, you all all these things that, that, that are positive just because I stopped using. Not just stop using, but now I've, I've, I've associated myself with some type of fellowship. Right. Okay. That is a big one there. Because uh, just by association, finding other people who share what I perceive as the same problem, mm-hmm. you know, and, and who are comforting and supporting and also accepting of me. Because mm-hmm. I, all I want to do is fit in anyway. Yeah. When I find, to a certain degree, I feel like I fit in there. But that's still just simply a form of relief. Right, but but not but, not, not having my problem solved. But but what that does though, that stifles me from get to the point where I give up my problem solved. Right. Because that stops me from I seeing accept the relief fruit. over getting over, recovered. Right, over getting yeah, get freedom. Right, I'll accept a little uh, relief over, over because, getting freedom. Because that is so profound. For me that was so profound. It was. To finally be welcome somewhere. Right. And, and, and as weird as I think I am, as crazy as I think I'm so crazy dry that I think I need psych man. Right. They say it's okay keep coming back. Because we crazy too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but also the, uh, the reality that to a certain extent, they do understand, and they express some of the stuff. See, it'd be different if if the if I went when I first started to go to to, to to meetings, if they were saying stuff that I couldn't really relate to, it'd been different. There is, but, there but is they quite a bit of things that that is very rational, reasonable, and I can relate. I can relate from to some them. of my experiences. Right, right. So I. Not knowing anything, because I hadn't had this book yet. Yeah. Not knowing anything, what they offer is all I is all what they're giving me is all I know, and they're giving me something that I I don't I, I hadn't had or found anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because the family don't know, don't care, to understand the church, don't understand coworker, don't understand nobody, and these people understand. So I park myself right here and make and and and, 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 and avail myself to what they have. Right, you know what I'm saying. Not realizing if I if I am the real deal because I don't have this book that has the the the, the doctor's opinion I, that that I'm prolonging. I think one of the most dangerous feel good relief statements that say it to me as a newcomer is it's gonna get better. Just keep coming back. Yeah. Like like it's just gonna naturally get better, or I'm gonna naturally end up with my problem. So. I don't, I don't think that I ever heard that my problem could be solved. I, I no, was encouraged no. by the, the statements that things would get better. No, was, I was encouraged by stuff said that's very superficial, that if I don't use it, that my life is a success. That sounded very sweet, but I still had suicidal tendencies, and I still had homicidal tendencies, and I was still a prey to depression and and I still it wasn't working in relationships. I still had to be dazzlement. Yeah, I still had to be To be dazzlement, y'all. Yeah. I'm just fucking with. Oh. And and then no, you good. Right. It's real raw right. and right, 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 right. We're, we're pulling the punches. But 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 then too, what the, what was pushed? Because I went to a fellowship that said this. That uh, I'm a quote it. The therapeutic value one addict helping another is without parallel. And and for see the, the God concept to me. Was was not. It took the, a back the, seat for it the group. Back, that, guess what? It, yeah. it took because the power of my sponsor, the power of the fellowship, the power of the group, the power of going to meetings. Because my the solution that was supposed to be God, right? The solution, whatever man, you need to go to meet, get to me. If I called my sponsor, and I had an a, a issue, he would lead me. To the meeting, but well, you need to make a meeting. You need to make a meeting. You need to make a meeting. It's Call two times you need meeting. to make a meeting. When you want to, and when, when you, you don't, don't want to. Right. So I'm looking to these people because up to this point, that's to all do I know. for me, the only thing that God can do for me. 
no human power could, could relieve do my alcoholism and that God could and would if he was salt. But I'm not seeking God. No, I'm not seeking God. No. No, I'm not, I, no. I don't know. I'm not disparaging the, the, the fellowship I was in because I still go there. A lot of my long-term friends are there. I'm just saying from my experience, that was not enough for me because I didn't, my problem was more dynamic than what they were presenting to me uh, as a solution. Now, the thing about it, though, is that experience helped me understand that I was beyond human aid, though, too. That experience, all those years relying on people failing over and over and over and over and over again, that, when I read this, that I was beyond human aid, okay, you know what? Well, yeah, because I done tried them. And, okay, this, oh, so my personal view of the other fellowship is I don't have a problem with them because I see the benefit of those they rescue from becoming like me. Right. I see the benefit of fellowship for those who haven't crossed over into the region from which there's no return right. to the human aid. Right. And so I honor them on, on that note. But personally, I was still, after, after the pink cloud of being around people who mm -hmm. seem to have the same issue and solution, subsided. I was separated again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was I'm, separated I'm, I'm again. I'm different. And, and now I'm becoming the fuck up of the group who just don't want this thing, right. and it's a damn lie. Right. I had the, the, the big book say, in the life of every alcoholic, he passes to a, to a state where the most powerful desire to stop using is of absolutely right. no avail. Right. The big book says that the baffling feature of alcoholism as we know it is the utter inability to leave it alone, no matter how great the necessity or the wish. Right. And and for these and for these reasons, I have been excluded from that group because that's where my malady is. Yeah, my malady, it, my malady clings to the fact that I have no choice and I have a lack of power. Right, right. But but the simple fact is that I'm not like them. Right. I just don't know it. Mm -hmm. I mean, but, but, but I'm, time, I'm experiencing it. There's some similitudes. Yeah, there's some similarities. But, but I'm experiencing being different. But since they're the only connection I have to others that are supposed to be like me, I do think it's me. Right. I'm the ugly duckling. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? That's why this book for me was so profound because it 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 explains and defines the, the 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 my condition. Right. To, to the extent that, oh, I'm one of them. And then you know what? And, and this don't get said much. Another one of the major sharing and talking points of the other fellowship was this competition of consequences. Yes, See, yes. That's, that's what, yes. you know, the way, the, way I re, the way I interpreted what was said, right. it was the consequences that made me a dope fiend and a junkie. Which made me the real deal. Yeah. But now the the big book made me understand that, and that's why I say a, a, an accurate account of the facts about what is alcoholism, and alcoholism is the label of the whole disease, uh, right. which includes any chemical that hit me out. Right. Right. Okay. Right. And and that. so the an, an accurate uh, assessment of the facts about the experience of the real hopeless variety alcoholic. Is necessary, and so the the big book. When you come into a, we agnostics, where now we're finally in route towards something that will solve the problem. It reiterates. It says in the preceding chapters. This is page forty four. Mm -hmm. You have learned something of alcoholism, because I guarantee you, if you're looking for yourself in the pages, and you are a real deal. These pages are proved so convincing that no further oh, yeah. identification. You, you is find it speaks to you. You're gonna see it. It speaks okay. to you. Okay. And then it says, We hope these pages make clear the distinction between the alcoholic and the non-alcoholic. Exactly. If when you honestly want to, because now it's talking about the desire to stop right. again. Right. You find you cannot quit entirely. We're talking about the thing going on in your mind. Right. You've made, you made uh, countless attempts to stop and stay stopped and haven't been able to live up to it. Right. I can't manage the decision to stay stopped because I can't manage to be okay in my own skin right. without it, right. which means I can't manage to avoid going back to the obsession, right. which means I can't manage to see other people's taking it with impunity and getting jealous and fucked up about it. Yeah. And so I'll succumb to the desire again, as so many do. I, so have, now no I, have, no I have no choice. I have no choice. And then it says, or if when drinking or using, you have little control over the amount you take, you're probably alcoholic. 
Right. I would go as far as saying your ass is. You got that combination of body and and mind. Right. Then then I I, got I, I, I think they may say probably because they say that we we have to diagnose ourselves. Yeah, that's so the reason why they say probably because yeah. we the, our book is only meant to be suggested. Right. It's meant to be suggested right. only. But so is the uh, the rip cord on the parachute. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to pull that motherfucker. <laughs> but if that's your answer, yeah, I, I know what to thine own self be true. But I'll be pulling the rip cord. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 And so, so if that be the case, you may be suffering from an illness which only a spiritual experience will conquer. Right. And so with all of the collective information about what is really going on with the real alcoholic and there not being but one solution, that, that helps me overcome my prejudices because even if I can't graduate, take that leap of faith to say, I do believe, I'm looking at people who are explaining in detail their own experience with this so the ex-problem drinker, um, with certain facts about himself, can generally win the entire confidence of another alcoholic in a matter of hours. Mm -hmm. And so when you're expressing this problem, then I ain't never been able to get across to nobody else. Mm -hmm. And yet I see you, your whole deportment shouting, you have real answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a peace about you. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, some usefulness about you for not only yourself, but for society. Mm -hmm. And you you don't you don't bring this attitude of condescendence or arrogance and look that you just want to be helpful. You project hope to me. You project hope to me because he, you know what I've experienced, man. Uh, uh, and I, I talk to you about this often. How uh, we we may get a lot of people that 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 start with us who want to take take them through the work, but then really fall off. And they, you know, out of every team, maybe one a stick and stay because when I. When you are like us and you read uh, the preceding chapters, right. that level of relief that somebody finally knows. somebody know what I've been going somebody through. really knows, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That level of relief is, is mistaken for recovery again. But not no not 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 if the person that brings the message to you that that tells yeah, you, you to go ahead and tell right, you what, come, you, now, you, what right. you need to do. Because before I read the book. Ben Patterson, rest in peace and power, brought the message to me of depth and weight, and I believed he was like me because he spoke my language, but he gave me so much hope because I saw, even though he was like me, he was free. He ch yeah, the he change had changed. was obvious. It was obvious. The change was obvious. You know, so I was so eager, I was so eager to get what he had. What he displayed. What he displayed, yeah. but here we go, and now we're going to talk about that, that second step, like you want to. Uh, uh, but where and how do I find this power? Well, that's exactly what this book is about. Uh, uh, to enable me to find the power that will solve a problem. But see, when I first, I read the word to find a power that to help that, that will solve my problem. But w w in my mind, what, what, what I consciously uh, 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 absorbed was to find a way. Yeah. To stop smoking crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now the program becomes God. Instead of God being God and the program getting me to it. The 12 steps is, is, is and, 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 and the major hitter in the 12 steps is carrying the message. Yeah. I got to get to 12. So, yeah, so I can try to help people because that, right. that's going to work uh, when all other measures fail. They don't know. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. The that's first thing first, I can't transmit something I ain't got. Having had a spirit, if I had no spirit, I can carry a message without having a spiritual awakening. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not carrying the message. I'm not carrying the this message, the empowered message, no. which will feed a person's spirit no. as well as his mentality. No. So here, here's a part here that I kept, you know, unless we got like some extreme mental issues that make us psychotic, most of us know right from wrong. Yeah. And most of us have a, a degree of intelligence that we are quite comfortable with, maybe even proud of. Mm -hmm. There's so there's other things that I am able to overcome by sheer mm -hmm. determination and willpower. Mm -hmm. But the book made a point to go down here and say, if a mere code of morals mm -hmm. or a better philosophy of life were sufficient to overcome alcoholism, many of us would have recovered long mm -hmm. ago. But we found that such codes and philosophies did not save us, no matter how much we tried. We could wish to be moral, we could wish to be philosophically confident. In fact, we could will these things with all our might. But the needed power wasn't there. Our human resources as marshaled by the will were not sufficient. They failed utterly. And I don't believe I ever believed that until I believed it. Because I thought that my earnest intention to stay sober and my knowing right from wrong 
and my believing that I already knew the right thing I needed to do, I just needed to do it, was the equivalent of that statement talking about getting in touch with the power greater than myself. Mm-hmm. And, and it wasn't. So now when I look at this statement here about this mere code of morals, a better philosophy of life, this is, this is what I hear. If I, by my own independent self-propulsion, think that I can be a better person to the degree of being satisfying to God and useful to my fellows, I have missed the point. Oh, oh. come on. Yes, Bobo. I'm sorry, man. We got to, no, <laughs> we got to oh, you can edit. Let me, let me unlock the door. I didn't know she was coming, bro. <laughs> God, y'all, I hope I ain't, ain't disturb your groove. No, I don't. I get up and do all kinds of stuff. But, but yeah, the, the miracle, you, 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 you hit the nail on the head. It's still my own effort. Because I know right from wrong, I just ain't been able to do it. And so these 12 steps go give me some spiritual principles and some tools yeah. that I can use. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, because, <laughs> watch this, because, watch this. Obviously, if you remove <laughs> the higher power, the God concept, the, the power greater than myself, which it's the whole purpose of the book. Right. From the book, from the 12 steps, the 12 steps are obviously a better moral code and a better oh, philosophy absolutely. of life than what I've been living. Absolutely. And yet, it still doesn't get my problem solved without me having a, a willingness to find this power. Well, they weren't designed just to stand. Okay, they are a, a means to an end. The steps are not the end themselves. That's a mistake we made in this. Yeah, yeah. So we, we actually come in thinking if I get through these, so I can say I've accomplished a, a, fa- a feat, I, I, I finish the steps. Right. Like there's a graduation of diploma right. on right. the other side right. of it. I did do steps. Self propulsion is still, a, I'm still applying self propulsion yeah. in elf, my own effort. And, and my it. faith is still in the results of my effort. Exactly. Now, but and this is what I've been I've been saying lately about where do I start? See, mm-hmm. the first time through I start I, I started from a, a level of conceding and surrender, but it wasn't deep enough. It wasn't total enough. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wasn't. I, I recognized my hopelessness when it came to drugs and alcohol. I would not admit admit defeat of my my lack of power and ability to run my own life. See, right. I, I had I had to experience the spiritual malady to a deeper uh, degree in order to recognize that. So when I started this time, the surrender was so deep that I when I read this, it, it, it fed, yeah yeah yeah, it, it was insufficient. Yeah, you damn right it was. Yeah, because yeah. see you, now you I know got some evidence I, to support the powerlessness. I now. gotta have God now. Yeah. See, before it's like, okay, yeah, God, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been, everybody's been telling me. Okay, so let's 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 let's, let's, let's back up. So, because I mean, our, our objective is to be helpful, right? And so, obviously, the one that needs help being at step two, let's say they're armed with the facts about what is real alcoholism. You got to know, step one just means I'm completely fucked unless. I find a power greater than myself. Well, unless I have let's to go a little further. Because we, we say tell people no. Step one tells me it gives me the symptoms and characteristics of what an alcoholic is. Truly, it also tells me my destination. It's no, sanity right, right, or death. Right. It, it, it gives me the truth, either whether I accept it or not. Yeah. The reality of my condition. Right. But it gives me the the symptoms that first of all help me to find whether if I have these symptoms. Right. Okay, this is what I have. Right. Okay, I can bank on that. Not just that I'm fucked, but because I have these symptoms which indicate I have this disease, I am hopeless. Because right. apart from divine help, there is very little change. Very little. Okay? Right. So, so, but, but I have to begin without, 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 without a, a total agreement. Acknowledgement and acceptance of, of step one as my truth. Right. There can't be no step two because unless I realize I have this, that that what, what they talk about in the preceding chapters, if that does not uh, move me to say, "Damn, oh, finally somebody that knows," I'm not going to accept that I'm one of them. And if I don't accept that I'm one of them, how am I going to accept I need God? Step one to me made me say, "Oh shit." It, 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 now, you know, I'm ready to do something. Now I'm ready to take certain steps. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. person, but the person who, okay, so watch this part here. Uh, 45. Okay. Many times down here. Okay. Many times we talk to a new man and watch okay. his hope rise as we discuss his alcoholic problem. That's that relief you get when somebody uh-huh. speaks uh-huh. language uh-huh. and explain our fellowship. But his face falls when we speak of spiritual matters, especially when we mention God. For we have reopened a subject which our man thought he had neatly evaded or entirely ignored. Mm-hmm. We know how he feels. Mm-hmm. We have shared his honest doubt and prejudice. Some of us have been violently anti-religious. To others, the word God brought up a particular idea of him with which someone had tried to impress them during childhood. Perhaps we rejected this particular conception because it seemed inadequate. With that rejection, we imagined we had abandoned the God idea entirely. Mm -hmm. We were bothered with the thought that faith and dependence upon a power beyond ourselves was somewhat weak, even cowardly. Mm-hmm. We looked upon this world of worn individuals, worn theological systems, and inexplicable calamity with deep skepticism. Mm-hmm. We looked askance at many individuals who claimed to be godly. How could a supreme being have anything to do with it all? And who could comprehend the supreme being anyhow? Yet in other moments we found ourselves thinking when enchanted by a starlit night, who then made all this? There was a feeling of awe and wonder, but it was fleeting and soon lost. Uh, it says, yes, we have alcoholic, uh, agnostic temperament, have had these thoughts and experiences. Let us make haste to reassure you, we found that as soon as we were able to lay aside prejudice, so, so that's the goal. Mm-hmm. I've got to be willing to lay aside the prejudice and express even a willingness sure to did. believe. Yeah, I'm sure so in a power greater than ourselves, we commenced to get results, even though it was impossible for any of us to fully define or comprehend that power which is God. See, I was as you were saying, I was thinking, and, and this was written for those because because it, 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 it was just a reality that, you, uh, and it's still to this day, you got a lot of people who who are without knowledge of God or or, or, or don't believe in God. That's true, but that's not everybody. Right. You got those that are like me that have been prejudiced against religion, and since my religion was my only connection and uh, ability to have any kind of type of conscious contact with God, uh, I was prejudiced against God, okay? Right. However, when presented with this, that hope that he talked about, when, uh, 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 what, you, what you said, that, 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 when, when he light up, oh, when his face, face uh, really okay, yeah, but, uh, uh, Cause you feel like you already tried, God. Good. Yeah, but, uh, he said, but his his but, face, but his face falls, falls when he speaks spirit. Okay, yeah. with me though, the first uh, what both times, but this time this especially, yours. this yours. Oh. This time especially, I I knew I had some uh, uh, knowledge of God, and so this time when you spoke of God, it's like yes. Yes, you're right, and, 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 and maybe finally I can I can have it because this is not religion, in, you know, anymore. Right. This 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 is not this this mystical, uh, supernatural, uh, uh, you know, walk on water, float, and, you know, because yeah. all my life, the my only conscious contact with God was through religion, and, and man, all kind of stuff went on in my religious practice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And God was always an extraterrestrial. Way away. <laughs> well, yeah, you know? Uh, there was no conscious contact. So for me, once they identified with them in the problem and they told me the solution was God, for whatever reason, the hope that they gave me that I could be helped, I didn't give a damn what, what, what the hell was. And because I had some knowledge of God, I could easily identify with it. Now, for the agnostic and, and, and the, the atheist, what helps too is that, once again, if I got a solid number one, you know what? I don't care. I don't understand the God thing. Don't I'm give a damn about it. Thing. Thank you. Thank you. Ain't, ain't nothing you gonna, and, and, and I got people in front of me problem solved that's got the same problem. That's all I want. I, that's proof enough for that's me. That's all I want. If you was just as fucked as I am, and you sitting there happy and free, 
Why the hell wouldn't I take your suggestion? Dude, check it out. Check it out. Cause cause uh agnostic because the person that wrote this was an agnostic. Right? Okay. Where is it at, man? Go ahead and finish gonna say I'm 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 gonna hit you in a minute with something because I, I love the way the guy uh uh that wrote this, he was uh, he 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 uses because he's talking to people like him. See, he came to believe. Yep. I and mean, I like when he goes to explain and say, okay, so much to our relief, we discovered we did not need to consider another's conception of God. Mm -hmm. Our own conception, however inadequate, was sufficient to make the approach and to affect the contact with it. As soon as we admitted the possible existence of a creative intelligence, see, that right there explains the way that make up a concept shit. Yeah. That, that throws away the door now. That get the rid of the. But well, see that that that's that stuff. Cause see, this is the original uh, uh, twelve step recovery program. That stuff there is illegitimate came because way it came, later and it, it came, came right. From the clinical approach. Right. So this this is what I go with now. Even though for those of us that, but cause see, here's the deal too. If I if I'm not pointed in the, in the direction of God, and don't see the the need, the true need for God. I'm not. I'm not. I'll accept anything as a power greater than myself to help me, because I ain't interested in God no damn way. Yeah, because I can accept the assignment of the work and still not be in acceptance of the power greater right. myself. Not right. ain't be interested in right. that. Because I, I'll do what you tell me to do. I'll make the meetings you tell me to make. Right. I'll even talk about some of my problems. That's right. kind of therapeutic, right? right. That's that therapeutic right. value. You want to? Okay. Okay, so I'm willing to do that, but somewhere down the road, because I never, I never, right here it says, as soon as we admitted the possible existence of creative intelligence, a spirit of the universe, underlying the totality of things, mm -hmm. we begin to be possessed of a new sense of power and direction, provided we took other simple steps. And so, that's initial. Then the other steps come after that. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm after along the way of the steps. Right. The whole purpose of the steps is to remove stuff that's been blocking the God that's always been there anyway. Right, because God is the only, my only way out of my condition. The, the only uh, solution to my condition. And, and now I know it's, a, it's not just a treatment. I have a solution. And then, and then another thing for the person who's agnostic or borderline atheist or atheist is to say, we found that God does not make too hard a term with those who seek it. To us, the realm of the Spirit is broad, roomy, all-inclusive, never exclusive or forbidden to those who earnestly seek. And so uh, my motive in doing the steps is to seek God. Right. If I, if, but once again, it has to come from me knowing I got to have God. Yeah, it's got to be a reality to me that, that right. nothing else is going to work. Nothing else is going to work. And 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 that's that starts with my step one. If, if my step one hasn't been thoroughly defined as they describe it, in it, if I if I'm not of the hopeless, if I don't identify as of the hopeless variety, and not just with with with, with drink and drug, with my inability to to wrestle satisfaction out of life, that my I would never be I would never be happy or feel whole. That I'm always gonna have these. Trouble, trouble with personal relationship. Uh, can't control my emotional natures. I'm a, I pray to men that I'm always have you that. Always be in turmoil. Dude. With or without. Right. With or without whatever substance. With or without. Because Only solution I, uh, that's even available to me is what God will do for me if he's soft. Right. Right. Because that other, the only solution that, that I had before does not work anymore. Right. I know it don't work. That's why I want to stop. Because it don't work. It done flipped on me. I like this... Uh, uh, a, another uh, soothing comment on page 47. It says, do not let any prejudices you have, you may have against spiritual ter terms deter you from honestly asking yourself what they mean to you. Mm -hmm. At the start, this was, at the start. Right, right, that's all you need. This is all we need to commence spiritual growth to affect our first conscious relation with God as we understood it. Uh, afterward, we found ourselves accepting many things which then seemed entirely out of reach. Mm -hmm. That was growth. But if we wished to grow, we had to begin somewhere. So we use our own conception, however limited it was. So you get to start. So God's merciful enough to meet me where I'm at, no matter where I'm at, if I'm willing to entertain the thought that He could and would if He saw. Right. If I'm even if I even if it just falls back to that that the minimum. Whatever power that was that got him sober, 
I, let me I, find I, that. Hey, and let me find that. Let yeah. me just get a hold of that which got a hold of him. Right. That, uh, that, that there is some. Think, it's like I hope that there is something that will help me like it helped him. I can't explain. He can't explain it totally. I don't understand it. But if if it worked for him, oh, I hope like hell it worked for me. You know, I done got in the groove of destroying the big brain ism of explaining the way God. Because there's just too much going on with precision and perfect harmony and precise laws, right? We, we're on a planet that the big brain said an explosion happened. A motherfucking germ crawled up out the water, swung yeah. on trees one day, stood up and talked, and we headed nowhere fast, Right. basically, right. with the bang theory. Right. And now, I can't understand how the precision that's in place, the precise laws that keep everything from going up in smoke, if the earth drift one mile closer to the sun, we burn up. Mm -hmm. If it drift one mile away, we freeze, we freeze. Watch this. The moon controls the waves and the atmosphere to such an effect that without the moon, the planet would go to shit. Right. So you mean to tell me this explosion and this accident was so precise to put us in the exact place at the exact time with the exact counterpart, the moon, where the it, it, it rotates on the axle every turn this way, going around the planet, going around the, the sun, rotate this way is a day. This way around the sun is a year. And it, come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, well, see, uh, how can I put this? The book they, they put this in there because you had people who were not they, they, they could they couldn't answer they want they 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 just didn't want to deal with the God deal okay for whatever reason that's not my testimony I got I, I've never had an issue with believing the existence of God right my problem was the conscious contact the ability to 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 have this relationship this interaction. And confidence of this of this entity to the point where I'm willing to trust it with everything. See, in my sickness, I was convinced of the need and the necessity of independence and determination of the will. Absolutely, yeah. We taught that. And what's introduced to me in the spiritual program of action to get me in touch with power greater right myself, I'm taught the long way. Of how to humbly rely, depend, and trust in the power of myself in companionship with my willingness to do my best. Absolutely. I, I don't know nothing about that even in religion. Because I believe it's it's a matter of devotion to the fellowship. My attendance record, you know, I got to be there prayer meet Sunday. You know, I got to study, study the scriptures. I got to memorize some scriptures. Right. You know, I, I, I got to name it and claim it. I got, you know, and, and I, I'm taking so far away from the spiritual reality of what it looks like for me right. to rely on God in, in, because it's almost like it's subliminal without my knowledge that I really rely on my effort right, right, and the right. results of what I can produce by willpower and determination. Right, right. And I never really include, by way of relationship, uh -uh. this governing authority that runs it all. That, but that's why I got to be broken. I've got to be broken. That's why. That's that's why for us who, who and, and if you notice, uh, because me and you both are are, are, are in the Christian faith, so we we, we 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 have some some knowledge of, 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 of some of the stuff in the Bible, but uh, even in, in our practical experience, we've seen that people with great issues mm -hmm. and great suffering, we are the ones who our ability. To get in conscious contact with that God that gives us hope. For us, it's, it's not it's not as hard a leap for people who don't have a major issue. Cause see, my all this stuff you talk about, my own effort, all that stuff has been shown to be insufficient. But see, it wasn't until I read this book that it pointed out. See, nobody else pointed it out. Right. Everybody else kept giving me stuff for me to do. Yeah. That's 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 going okay. This this, this gonna make it better. Not to say that it wasn't required of you to do. Right. It's just along with my requirements. Let's see. Nobody's changed the requirements that they apply to me. There's still things that I have to do. 
And yet the element of dependence, reliance, and trust in God, the small steps of faith it takes to grow in this relationship, was not clarified to me. No, because I, I missed it. Because I was doing them before, but, but it was real, I'm going to put it real plain. I was doing them before to stop smoking crack and to live a better life. All of the steps, everything, God, from the very beginning when I, when I, I, I seen that crack was kicking my ass, I just wanted to stop smoking crack. Finally, I saw that I needed God in my life in a way to do for me what I couldn't do. I've been, it's been proven to me what I can't do. And I lost hope that anything or anyone could do anything about it. Now you give me hope with this, and my hope is in God. Now the things I do, which I must do, but I'm doing them now to get this relationship. That's right. To, 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 I'm doing it to have this spiritual way. I ain't doing it to run away from something. I'm doing it. I'm running to something. I'm seeking something through this process. Whereas before, I was running away. Right. Just get me away from that. I don't care where the hell I'm going. Anywhere I'm going gonna be better than than this shit back here. This time I've got to just like I said all the time. The steps have a predictable, repeatable, designed effect to put me in touch with a power greater than myself that's gonna solve my problem. Let me check this statement out. So bottom of page forty-seven. Okay. Started that sentence. So it was confident to learn we could commence at a simple level. Uh -huh. That's comfort. Mm -hmm. Besides a seeming inability to accept much on faith, we often found ourselves handicapped by obstinacy, by obstinacy sensitiveness, and unreasoning prejudice. Mm -hmm. Many of us have been so touchy that even casual reference to spiritual things made us bristle with antagonism. Mm -hmm. This sort of thinking had to be abandoned. Though some of us resisted, because I had my moments of resisting mm -hmm. it, right? Because mm -hmm. I had faith in the results of my efforts mm -hmm. more than uh, a sure, uh, a pure interest in spiritual things and God Himself. Mm -hmm. We've okay. So though some of us resisted, we found no great difficulty in casting aside such feelings. Why? Faced. Faced with alcoholic destruction, we right. soon became as open-minded on spiritual matters as we had tried to be uh -huh. on other questions. In this respect. Alcohol and dope was a great persuader. Yeah. It finally beat us into a state of reasonableness. Sometimes this <laughs> was a long tedious <laughs> process. <laughs> we, we hope no one else has to be prejudiced for, for as long. long as some of us were. Yep, yeah, that's 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 what I just spoke on earlier. Those of those of us of great suffering are the ones who have great rejoice in, in the in, in the knowledge of the in, in, in the presence and in the conscious contact with God. Because to go from true hopelessness to hope, do, and, and, and to have that hope realized into freedom, man, you know. But I'm starting from a place that, like you said, I don't give a damn about, okay, what I got to do or, or, or how I'm going to get there. I must have this thing because my step one truth is that I'm going to be... I'm going to live and die a miserable fuck if God doesn't intervene. My life is going to be a repeat, a rinse and repeat, a, a constant cycle of what I've been going through. And I'm going to keep hurting myself and people that, that I love. I'm going to want to die all the damn time or kill some, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm persuaded <laughs> to do something different. And I'm going to say this on, 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 on this too. We know just a little. Right. You know what I'm saying? God has revealed some stuff to us. But we know just a little. Man, God is so so big and, and awesome. All I needed was a little bit to start. And the little bit I do know, I know though. Yeah. yeah. See, and, and that's the thing about it. All I, okay, I start out with a little bit of hope. A, a, must, a, a little bit of doubt. And God gives me to know something. But when he gives me to know Boy, I'm, ooh, here to die. I'm here to die. Watch this. When we saw others solve their problems by a simple reliance, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. by a simple reliance upon the spirit of the universe, we had, we had to stop doubting the power of God. Uh -huh. Our ideas didn't work, but the, the God, God idea did. did. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then the next paragraph, we drop down here, says, We agnostics and atheists were sticking to the idea that self-sufficiency would solve our problems. Mm -hmm. 
when others showed us that the God's efficiency worked with them. Right. We begin to feel like those who had insisted the right brothers would never fly. Mm -hmm. Then drop down uh, in the middle of the next paragraph okay. on 53. Hence, we are at pains to tell why we think our present faith is reasonable, why we think it more sane and logical to believe than not to believe. Uh -huh. Why we say our former thinking was soft and mushy when we threw up our hands in doubt and said we don't know. That's that question of why my ass can't stay. Okay, so, where you at, man? You, uh, you I'm on me. page 53. I'm here. Okay, I got you. Yes, yes, okay, I got you. I got you. Go okay. ahead. Go, go ahead. And then down this next paragraph says, when we became alcoholics, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm actually in agreement that I'm there. Right. Crushed by a self-imposed crisis, we could not postpone our Right, invasion. right. We had to fiercely face the proposition that either God is, is everything, everything or, or else he is, he is nothing. nothing. Right. God either is or he isn't. What was our choice to be? Exactly. Exactly. But see, I got to get, I got to start where I'm crushed by a self-imposed crisis, which I realize I can't postpone or evade. See, I, I got to start there because I don't start there. How can I say I'm nothing but God is everything? See, I got, I, I, I've got to, I'm about to be totally convinced that I'm nothing. That I can't do it. I, that, I have no power, no saying. I have no hope of ever conquering this. And, and the way I got there, though, I had to try as long as I had to try. Yeah, and then amazing how I could, I, I, I can actually be giving my all and my best, and it, it's going to be to no avail. I mean, how long do I have to go through that, though, right? Be, before I finally say, uh, until yeah, I surrender. I Okay, so on page 55, Until here we go again. We're still casting our eyes upon the people who had the problem solved. It says, yet, yeah. yeah, I got you. Yet we have been seeing another kind of flight, a spiritual liberation from this world, people who were, who rose above their problems. Like, yeah, the agnostic, he talked yeah. about people, the God people. Mm -hmm. They said God made these things possible, and we only smile. We have seen spiritual release, but like to tell ourselves it wasn't true. <laughs> that next paragraph. Actually, we're fooling ourselves. For deep down in every man, woman, and child is the fundamental, fundamental idea of God. Ain't no damn light bulb. Mm -hmm. Ain't the group. No. It's in there. It may be obscured by calamity, right. by pomp, by worship of other things, but in some form or other, it is there. But faith in the power greater than ourselves and miraculous demonstration of that power in human life are fact as old as man himself. Check this out. I'm, I'm saying that, go ahead. Man, we try our best to, to uh, uh, analyze and rationalize away miracles that we've seen all our lives. Try to rationalize and, 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 and just, you know, uh, uh, use reason to dispel that that's not what it is. Instead of accepting the power of God. Today is different. I see God everywhere. I like this, watch this. So we finally saw that faith in some kind of God or some kind of faith in God right. was a part of our makeup. Mm -hmm. Just as much as the feeling we have for a friend. Sometimes we had to search fearlessly, but he was there. Mm -hmm. He was as much a fact as we were. We found the great reality deep down within us in the last analysis, it is only there that he may be found it was so with us. Now watch this. Watch this. First of all, they didn't say create no conception. No. They said it, it, it deep down every man, woman, and child, it's already there. Right? And then it, then it says, uh, we finally saw that faith in some kind of God was as a part of our makeup just as much as the feeling we have for a friend. Now watch this. Who hadn't experienced somebody professing with the mouth to belong to God now and you knew it was fucking fake? That's that thing. came from... No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, well, well. I'm, I'm talking about spiritual uh, uh, discernment. I'm talking about perception that ain't intellectual as much as it's from way down deep inside you have a knowledge of what is right. the results of somebody right. really knowing God, God and yeah. what ain't. I and yeah, and you, yeah. so I'm trying to point at the fact yeah. that the conception is really there. Right. Who who hadn't yeah. met the person, right, yeah. 
who is indeed anointed to do a particular service or work and, and be blown away by right. what's coming forth from the abundance of this person's heart. It, it and, you, and you know you're scared of shit out you too, depending on what, what, what's going and on. And you know that is what that is. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I might like to laugh and I often try to act like it ain't. Yeah. But my whole life, I've been knowing the difference between the real and the fake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because yeah. I've always had a conception of God because it right. was given right. in my creation. Right, right. Now, and, and that, that, the thing about it, I may not be totally conscious of it, so I no, can't. No, I'm just blocked out yeah, by yeah. all time. It's obscured by. But, but, but something lets me know this ain't right. This and ain't something right. lets me know, wow. This, this is the way. Walk yeah. in it. This yeah. is this it right here. But you know, uh, that, that second step said we came to believe. Isn't it interesting that they say that we now believe? Yeah. They say we came to well, believe. Well, so in actuality, the step, when it's actually finished being worked, you return to it in step 10. In step 10, the 10 step promises, it's going to tell you about you react sanely and normally. See, now I've come, to, but now I've entered the world of the spirit. Right. Now, now I recall it from a high flame. You know, now, now I, my brain is back. Now I've been restored to my rightful place right. between God and my fellow man. Right. Now I begin to realize that God's doing for me what I, I can't, can't do for myself. Yeah, right. Now I can say step two. I ain't right. saying no more step two. I, I'm willing to believe. No, I believe. Now I've gathered enough proof that He got me because what was once a flimsy reading is proven to be the hand of God. Right. You know now. Right. You know so now I know. Right. So now I can gather enough proof and evidence to find him doing for me what I couldn't do for myself. Right. I confirm that. And I now bear the testimony that, hey, he done it for me, he'll do it for you too. Right, right. But, and, and the process that does it, that's why I call the 12 steps a transformational process. It transforms me from being so self-centered, too much of me, to being more God-centered, less self-conscious in a, in, in, in a negative way, mm -hmm. to being more God-conscious. And the process of the steps, well, all it does is it eliminates me. Right. So that God can come in and reveal itself. So by the time I get step 10, I can now see what was, the reality was there the whole time. I just had an inability to see, recognize, I was I was not conscious of it. Right. God didn't have me to do. I would not be alive today. If, if, if God had not had a purpose and plan for my for me to be here today. You know what I'm saying? Now trips to the penitentiary. Just because motherfucker go to penitentiary don't mean his ass gonna come out. It don't. I, by for all right for, time, I'm supposed to get out. For a lot of reasons. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or, or yeah, get killed in there or something. Yeah. Dude. But see, my inability to see these things as I'm going through life because I'm, I'm so stuck on stupid self. You know, and, 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 and going through life with self proposal trying to manage well, I'm going to wrestle satisfaction out of life. Because that's what I'm taught as a kid. Try harder. Uh, achieve. Keep striving. Never give in. Never give up. Don't quit. And then I come here, y'all say, surrender to win. Dude, they've been telling me about, I've been hearing this, the theme of surrender. Not only in the room, but in church. Uh, most of my adult life. And I would always have a question, how? I think I, I'm trying. God, I surrender. I had no clue what you I didn't have like. no. I it, had no detailed instructions on how to deny self. No. Nope. I didn't know what that looked like. Because I, I, but see, because you know I what? didn't even know that I had stuff that was just straight up there blocking me. It no. Got to, it's got to be addressed and removed from between us. I ain't know nothing about cleaning house. No. I like to be forgiven and let bygone be bygone. No, I got some. I got some work to do. I got no. some stuff to look at. No. I've got to bear the conviction of being contrary to God all my life. Right. I've got to bear the conviction of being uh, selfish and self-centered, inconsiderate and dishonest. I've got to bear the guilt of the the effect, the negative effect it's had on other people. Mm -hmm. I got to. I got to bear that mm -hmm. in order to. Experience God because after the fifth step, when they finally say we might have had spiritual beliefs, but now, but now we begin to have a spiritual experience, right? Because some freedom is because some things have been moved out from between. Because me and I'm eliminating, I got a little bit more of God and less of me because I've eliminated it's like I shit, I shit it out, yeah. I've eliminated it. So yeah. now God is replacing that because He's been trying to get in there anyway. anyway, you know. Okay. But it's a process, go ahead. On page 55, down under that, 
It says, uh, I like when uh, the brother at the uh, DAA shared that he was just showing how the how of the program is mm -hmm. in this paragraph. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Olson. Yeah, he yeah. said, uh, we can only clear the ground a bit. If our testimony helps sweep away prejudice, enables you to think honestly, that's the how, mm -hmm. that's the honesty of it, encourages you to search diligently within yourself, that's the open-minded, mm -hmm. then if you wish, you can join us. If you wish, you will too. You can join uh -huh. us. And uh, and then it says, with this attitude, you can cannot I fail. fail. The consciousness of your belief is sure to come to you. It's sure to come to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to grab hold of it. I'm not going to achieve it. I'm not going to cross the finish line to it. It's going to come to me. I like how they backdoored it with this story. It says, in this book you will read the experience of a man who thought he was an atheist. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His yeah. story is so interesting that some of it should be told now. His change of heart was dramatic, convincing, and moving. Our friend was a minister's son. He attended church school, where he became rebellious at, at what he thought an overdose of religious education. For years thereafter, he was dogged by trouble and frustration, business failure, insanity, fatal illness. The bedazzlements, Danny. There they are. <laughs> These calamities in his immediate family embittered and depressed him. Post-war disillusionment, ever more serious alcoholism, impending mental and physical collapse brought him to the point of self-destruction. One night, his name is Fitz Mayo, who experienced that. One night, Bill W. come to him when confined in a hospital, he was approached by an alcoholic who had known a spiritual experience. Our friend Gorge rose as he bitterly cried out, If there is a God, he certainly hasn't done anything for me. But later, alone in his room, he asked himself this question. Is it possible that all the religious people I have known are wrong? While pondering the answer, he felt as though he had lived in hell. Then, like a thunderbolt, a great thought came. It crowded out all else. Who are you to say there is no God? So this this man here, as may be the experience, this man here, as may be the experience of many people who have had a religious learning, upbringing, training, might at some point declare, man, I'm sick of this shit. I'm the like to hate getting forced to go to church. I be falling asleep, getting slapped, and all kinds Dude, of shit. Dude, hold on. How, how many do I feel? I'm the pastor's son. Oh, they even beat your head. Well, I, I had no choice but to go. You had no choice but to get your head beat, too. But I had no choice but to go, because it, no, nah, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not, I'm, I ain't no choice to go. I'm going. So it ain't like I can put up such a... So what about this complication? Okay, forced to go... Religious overdose uh -huh. to get away from it, and then to return back to the church with the idea of self effort. I just need to join the church. I just need to. Oh yeah, yeah, because because yeah, that was our. You know, yeah, I know you heard me. Man, I, I got I got to get right. Man, I got to start going to church. I got to find me a church girl. Well, mm -hmm. the church, and don't get me wrong, in, in, in our community especially, the church is is, is foundational. However, I, I for so long. I was missing the the forest for the trees. Mm -hmm. right, I was right. I, I was just in I was in the church but not of God. See today I, I'm in the body. Yeah, yeah. It's different. It don't have anything to do with a building or religious nah. structure. No, no, no. It's a personal relationship with God. Yes. That what that's what Jesus was talking about. Right. Jesus was saying to the Pharisees, He said, "You search the Scriptures, yeah. for therein you think you have eternal life." Right. And these are they which speak of me, uh -huh. but you are not willing to come to me that I might give you life. Right, right. Because I got to give Now I know yeah. spiritually exactly what that means, yeah. the difference between the religiousness right. and the faith in my own efforts right. and the relationship and my dependence and reliance upon God humbly. Absolutely, absolutely. But it goes all the way back. I can't, I can't get away from this, y'all. It goes back to that first step. See? I can't accept. Yeah, if I if I if I still in doubt about being the real deal, then I'm in doubt. I'm in doubt about how seriously I gotta take this God thing. If 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 if, if right, if either either I know that I am an alcoholic, or I have the disease of alcoholism. Whether you whether you you, you use in heroin, crack, or alcohol, it don't matter. We we talk about in the total the disease itself. We gonna just frame it as alcoholism. 
Whatever my help. preference is, it right. gives me a sense of ease and comfort, comfort from right. my restless ear when discontentedness. Either, either I, when I read this, I accept it as my truth because it is my truth. It speaks to me, and and then once once accepting that, I I gotta recognize the spirituality of it. You know what I'm saying? And once I recognize that, I know I need God. See, once I recognize my need for God, see, the first time I recognized my need, well, no, I wanted, and I needed to do what I wanted to stop smoking crack. That was the only, that was the identified, that was the low hanging fruit. I was still hooked on all of the other all ways other, of life of running the show. I didn't, I didn't, fully, even after reading this initially, I didn't fully comprehend that. That's why I said, well, now when we read it, I see it differently. Yeah. The spiritual, once the spiritual malady, not a lot, I ain't talking about to be dealt with, but once the spiritual malady is fully revealed to me, dude, yeah. the God thing is not an issue no more. It was definitely a process and get up, fall down, get up, fall down, fail in every kind of way to finally get out to the original six steps, first step. Complete right. deflation. deflation. Yeah. Then and only then can I move to the six step, second step. Right. Which is dependence on God. Yeah. I, I can't even entertain that without that 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 deflation. I don't have the ability to mm -mm. because my 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 own humanness, my 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 own pride and ego of just being human, and what I've been indoctrinated with uh, uh, mentally all my life is is antagonistic towards that. Isn't it? It's 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 in that it's contrary, it's to, contrary to, to me it having is, dependence yeah. on God. It's everything about that gotta be broken. Acquiring independence. Okay. It's all about having the freedom to do what I want, right. what I want, right. however I want. You know, right. and, and you know, all and that, that all my the, power lies in that. All the codes of ethics, as far as the things that are genuinely good and respected, as far as providing for the family, raising the kid, being a man, yeah. blah blah blah, all that stuff included. It was still all up to me. I had no conception of the role that God assigns that I had no ability to fill the role all by myself no. in my own. It wasn't designed for me. It wasn't designed for that. But but here's the beautiful thing. I was thinking about this today, too, because everybody goes through stuff. Uh, and putting that faith that relies on dependence, total abandon. Uh, 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 throw myself on God with total abandon in His care. Uh, practicing that is not always comfortable. No, 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 no. Uh, and, 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 and pra but practice it, I must. Yeah. Practice it, I must. It's not like I can't believe in it. it's, it's a one and done. But that's a that's a whole other topic. Okay. Because now, cause now, you, cause now you, you're hitting towards this decision I got to make. Right. See, right. Oh, yeah, you're this, right. This, yeah. Step one, two, and step three. It's not work that I do. Right. It's work that's done on me. Yeah. Yeah. This is the thing. This yeah. is as a result of what has happened yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, the facts about my alcoholism. Yeah. The facts about there's only one solution. Yeah. And the facts about alcohol and dope was a problem. Right. But self is the, the problem. problem. Yeah. And now I get introduced to a way of life right. that's going to begin to clear that up for me about right. how to walk in this right. way of life. Right. And about how to uh, cultivate a relationship right. with God. About and and so that that's definitely our next you know uh, group discussion. That was a good segue. Yeah. I, look, I did it without even knowing. <laughs> <laughs> we lead it to three. Yeah, hell yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that so, is awesome. So I, I appreciate uh, my subscribers. I, I appreciate uh, the people who will comment and, and hit like. I appreciate the guys that have uh, seen that there's depth and weight in Real Ron Recovered and shared it, uh, the, of the treatment centers that's been planted, the sober living houses that's been planted. You know, uh, if y'all know somebody that's suffering from this disease that needs something more potent than uh, the clinical, as useful as the clinical is, they seem to make no progress with the real deal alcoholic and addict other than provide the safe place to be defiled and clear it up and so we, we ask that you subscribe we ask that you you keep up with us we we got a page on facebook we're putting together a non-profit to raise finances to uh, put guys and pay for the treatment pay for the sober living we got a lot going on 
Uh, oh, did I let you know that you was uh, elected to be one of the directors over? Uh, yeah, yeah, you told me. You told me that. Yeah. So we got it's some, we got some, some, some powerful men who have indeed had a spiritual awakening as a result of the steps, who practice these principles in all their affairs, and who are very interested in being instrumental in helping others get recovered from this disease. Uh, yeah. Before you close, can I say something? Say something. Man, uh. I tease him all the time. Uh, I met Bobo in like 2010. This guy's the first guy that I took through the work in 2010. He was the first the guy that took me all the way through the okay. work. Okay. And uh, the, from the very first time I met him, uh, I knew that God had a purpose and a plan for his life. Because here, here I'm, I'm trying to take him through the work, but he's teaching me so much. I could tell he had knowledge. And like he said, you know, we... Man, we, we just got a kindred spirit. God has, has bothered us in a certain way, and we was we, we, we did good stuff together. We done some dirt together yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that. And, and, and we ain't I, ain't no, ain't no same. Like I ain't always been saying, mm -hmm. but uh, God has brought us back together. And I could attest to this, not just cause uh, uh, for no other reason, but to say from my heart what I know that God has a purpose and plan for him, and give, and give has given him a vision to help others, man. In a broad way, so uh, I'd encourage y'all, man, to subscribe, to do whatever you can, to to be a part of what God is doing uh, through Bobo and, and us. But uh, he's legit, y'all. Uh, I got I got no no fucked up motive for saying that, you know. Cause I, I tell him all the time. I'm paying, I'm paying him to say nah, that shit. But I tell him all the time. I tell him, I said, Bobo, you ain't shit, but God in you is a motherfucker. For real. Because I've seen it from the very first time I, I met him. So, uh, like you say, our own desires to help because God has given us uh, in our heart a heart of, to serve, man. We're just so grateful to be free, man. We, we want we want God to use us in any way He can to help you and others be free. So support what, what's going on. Love y'all. This has been real raw and recovered. Peace. Subscribe, hit like, share. Yeah. <laughs> I I hope.